What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, uh, I suppose before we jump into the content of the video, I'm in a little bit of a different uh, setup than usual. Um, I'm beating a dead horse at this stage. This is kind of the first step of the new setup which I've been talking about for a while. Um, basically just kind of position myself where I will hopefully be sitting. Um, there's still a lot to be done. You can see obviously the background isn't you know the background I'm going to be using going forward, but this is probably gonna be the setup now for the next few weeks, just until I can get you know the whole room set up the way I want it. But uh, yeah, we'll zoom out real quick just so I can kind of show you maybe a little bit of what I'm working with here. So obviously this is the space in which I'm gonna be sitting. I've got a 27 inch monitor in front of me here right now. The plan is to be rocking two uh, monitors at the same time because I will be possibly streaming here and just gaming and um, I'd love to go down that route at some stage so obviously I'll keep this channel going as well and um, of course there'll always be reaction videos but then maybe venture off and do some live streams and it will just be a little bit of a kind of an office space for me as well so that's where we're at the moment I'm going to zoom back in because the background and everything is not as I desire at the moment so we're just going to try to keep me in focus and I'm going to be sitting here, obviously watching everything that's going on on the screen. I'm probably just going to edit the video in, you know, this corner here somewhere. But uh, yeah, that's enough of the setup talk, guys. I'm sick about talking about it at this stage. Um, it just seems like the only thing I ever talk about on this channel when I come back on. But today we have The Root of All Evil by Dream Theater, which is a big request. It is the third track from the 12 Step Suite by Dream Theater. Um, obviously we've done Panic Attack and then we did... Uh, this guilt, what's it called? This Dying Soul. Um, so we've done The Glass Prison, which was from 2002's Six Degrees of Inner Turbulence. We did This Dying Soul's uh, 2003's Train of Thought. And then this is the opening track of Dream Theater's 2005 album Octavarium, which we obviously have already done the track Octavarium off of that album. Probably not my favorite Dream Theater track. I know it's kind of got mixed opinions online. Some people love it, some people hate it. Well, not hate, but some people just, you know, think it's a bit overhyped. Um, written by then drummer Mike Portnoy, The Root of All Evil is the third song in the 12 step suite that addresses his struggles with alcoholism and the steps he has been taking to recover from it. In this case it covers steps VI which is six, yeah it's six, and VII, so seven, of the 12 step program by Alcoholics Anonymous. So again, we are continuing on the theme of, you know, struggling with addiction, alcohol man, like literally, the last, I'd say at least five of the last 10 videos that I've covered on this channel have been about addiction in some way, shape or form. But yeah, without any further ado guys, we're gonna jump in. If you could please drop a like before we go in here, it'd be much appreciated. Bear with me for the moment with how I'm gonna be editing these videos because obviously it's a new setup to me. Um, it's, it doesn't look as good in the background. I'd like to have it all lit up and everything, but you know, we've gotta start somewhere, but that is where we're at, at the moment, guys. You've seen in my last video, I kind of showed you the computer and everything and you know what I'm rocking. So we've moved all of that upstairs now. Um, I'm still to get a few bits. I'm still kind of borrowing bits from friends and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it guys, let's go. in the description of this video by the way and um, couldn't find a video that had the lyrics on the screen so uh, we'll have to go with that
it's weird listening to a dream theater track less than 10 minutes to be honest it's like i'd usually this point i'm only waking up and getting going with these reactions but uh you know i mean they just they don't really like i'm never i feel like i'm never really going to come out with a dream theater track you know unimpressed they've always got something to impress me now that doesn't always mean that you know i'm the biggest fan of the track yes there is you know i can see myself listen to that again and you know i'd happily let that play through if i was listening to you know the entire album going through the playlist or whatever and um, i definitely wouldn't be skipping a track like that but it's also not one that from first listen i know it's it's first listen so it's never going to be you know the greatest understanding of whether or not you're going to enjoy the track going forward but there's a few kind of elements in there as there always is with dream theater because they you know they give you so much with each track there's so many different riffs and different elements that they add in and so many different layers so it is you know from my experience always hard to judge from a first listen but you know generally quite good at gauging you know whether or not i'm going to go back and listen again and like i said i won't be probably skipping this track if it comes up again but it's also not like, you know, it's it's probably not in my, you know, top three, four um, Dream Theater songs that I have listened to thus far. Just from the first listen anyway, obviously who knows um, when I get this playing, you know, sometimes it sounds a little better if you listen to it in the car for the second time. Um, but who knows, man, I don't know, like they just, they're so impressive in terms of, you know, the musical side of things, how good they are with every, you know, aspect of the band, the theatrical side of things that I always go on about. And what I have mentioned a few times, obviously, they play up to the name Dream Theater. There's something so theatrical about the way in which the lead singer gets his lyrics across, the way he actually sounds. It's so, like, it just, it kind of like pantomime esque. It's like this cadence, he's like kind of screaming it, but it's like, it's, it, I don't know, it just reminds me of a pantomime. And again, that may be intentional because of the theater name, part of their name, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I love the concept. I love the idea that they can, you know, span a concept across you know five different albums so i think what i'm going to do now is i'm going to jump straight into uh, the next one which is repentance as far as i'm aware from 2007's systematic chaos so if you guys do want to see that if you could drop uh let me see a thousand likes on this video i think every single dream theater video i've done thus far has broken a thousand likes so if you could do that let me know what you think about the temporary setup i'm not expecting you know great response in terms of what people think of it because it's not great aesthetically however from a you know hardware standpoint and everything it is definitely a huge improvement but for the time being we're just gonna have to deal with the shitty background and uh, but hopefully you guys won't mind too much providing i'm getting you know more videos out like this so yeah guys a thousand likes on this video and we will get the repentance one out for you next but yeah thank you as always for watching guys if you haven't subscribed please do so you do not miss any future videos and obviously i'll do a full setup tour when this eventually gets done uh, but for now i'm signing out guys take care of yourselves cheers